Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining. I guess we're gonna use this time to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. I'm gonna start out in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help ground, soothe and center our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows us to soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing the thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. Gazing down at the earth as we relax five breaths of silent meditation. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Palms are connected, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, filling our spinal cord, get nice and elongated here. Opening up that heart chakra, lifting that chin up. As our arms flow slightly towards the back of the room, this here is a slight back bend. Chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating our palms, coming into our seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. I also like to call this our channeling pose. This is the pose we may use when we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. Channeling in things that may be soothing and serving to us. Welcoming in positive change. With our eyes slightly gazed down, our chin up, Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our body slightly towards the right, coming into a seated bend. Feeling this in our side body here. Chin is slightly up, gazing at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center as we lean our bodies to the opposite side, side bend, feeling this side stretch here, gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Palms are still separated as we breathe our palms together, coming into that salute. Leaning our bodies towards the right, finding ourselves in a seated crested moon. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale to center. Seated crescent moon, opposite side. Feel the net side bend. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms down with that heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down with away from the ears. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Two breaths. As we flow our palms to the yoga mat, to the earth, connecting our palms to our environment here. As we are using the sensations of our, of the room that we are in, to simply just check in with us, seeing how we feel right here, right now. Checking in with our environment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our feet to a down position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, bringing our feet together at the bottoms, working on opening up our hip flexors here. Heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing that head to flow between the shoulder blades. We are in our bound cow pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our calf, bringing our chin towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room, cat pulls. Flow into our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips, bringing our heart chakra downward towards the earth. Our head relaxes downward towards our feet as our shoulder blades melt forward, allowing our bodies to completely relax here in our bound position, forward fold. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up. Straightening our legs in front of us, maybe using our hands to bring our legs in. Now straighten our legs coming into that staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Spinal cords nice and long, shoulders relaxed down. Heart chakras open, chin is up. As we relax here in our staff pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, slightly hinging at the hips. We are in our seated half forward fold. Gazing forward with our eyes down. And if we feel, we can come into a complete forward fold. Reaching our hands down to our ankles or the lower parts of our feet. Allowing that torso to come closer towards our thighs. Head melts downward towards the knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, coming up to our staff pose. Relaxing here as we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute. Chin is up. Feeling that stretch. Exhale to prayer. Palms come down that heart center, relaxing our palms. Thumbs touch the sternum, gazing forward. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that right knee in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna work on our Sage Marici here. Right foot's flat on the earth, right knee's in the air. We're gonna take this right hand, lift it up in the air. Lean our bodies towards the left. We're gonna lean forward, lowering that arm down. We're gonna wrap this right arm around that right leg. Feeling that stretch here. Our heart chakra's open, our chin is up. We are in that Sage Marici one. We can hang out here if this feels good. We also can breathe this left leg inward. If that feels good for us, we are still in the stage we're reaching. We also can option to take this left hand and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our left and right fingertips. Chin is up. We're gonna hang out here in our stage Marici of choice. Four breaths. Two breaths. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers. We're going to unwrap that right leg, flowing back into our staff pose. Breathing our palms up to our salute. Chin is up. Exhale to prayer. Palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down. As we breathe, our left knee up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Positioning our bodies to feel comfortable. Left arm goes up in the air. Lean the body towards the right. Lean forward, lower that left arm. Wrapping this left arm around that left leg. We are in that Sage Marici opposite side. 
keeping in mind we can breathe that right leg inward if we choose. We can keep it straight. We also can take this right hand, wrap it around our backs, interlacing our right and left fingertips. With our heart chakra open, our chin up. We're gonna relax in our Sage Marici one, four breaths. Two breaths. Uninterlacing our fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, straightening out that leg, coming back into that staff. Torso's nice and elongated here, heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathing our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, feeling that stretch, chin is up. Exhale to prayer. Slightly hinging at the hips. Coming into a complete forward fold, if we're able, connecting our hands to our ankles or our feet. Torso connects to the thighs or comes closer to the thighs. Head relaxes downward towards the knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward as we flow up to our staff pose, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna drop our bodies down to our cow, feeling this in our lower back. Tummy comes close to the earth. Chin is slightly up. Nice breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Flow into our cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale to cow. Flowing back to cat. Coming back to our tabletop pose as we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're gonna work on that sunbird pose here. Right leg flows towards the back. Palms are flat on the earth as we are gaze forward. Feeling this stretch as we breathe that left arm forward, we are now in our full sunbird. Tummies are tight, we are balancing and strengthening our bodies here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Tummy's tight. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Flowing back to our table. Drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we sunbird opposite side. Left leg goes to the back nice and high, feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth, gaze forward. Tummies are tight. Breathing that right arm forward. We are now in that full sunbird as we are gaze forward, balancing and strengthening here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. Flow into our table, drop into cow, exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we're gonna gaze at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left to right. Finding pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Three breaths. Two breaths. Tummies are tight. Exhaling down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Three breaths. 
Exhale down to our tummies. Coming on to our tummies, we're gonna flow into a Spanx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. A lot of times in our Spanx pose, we like to shrug. So unshrugging those shoulders, having control of that body. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, gaze the eyes down. Still in a body relaxing soothe here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, pushing our torso away from the earth. Elbows are slightly bent, baby cobra. Chin is up. Exhale into cobra, straightening those elbows a little more. Torso comes further away from the earth. Chin is up. Exhale into our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. <laughs> Pushing our thighs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Allowing that torso to relax over the thighs, head melts down. Feeling this full body stretch here, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Three breaths. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that stance as we flow back down to a complete forward fold. Connecting our hands to our elbows, coming into a rag dial, allowing our head to completely relax here, feeling this deep stretch. And maybe we can sway, rocking our body from side to side in our rag dial, noticing how you'll feel that behind your legs and your hamstrings. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Finding pause at center. We're gonna widen our legs a little more, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Making that nice wide-legged stance here. Wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna connect our right hand to our right ankle, our left hand to our left ankle, allowing that head to relax completely down. Four breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling up to a half forward fold. Breathing up to a Tadasana. Just bringing our hands to our side. We are nice and wide legged. We're going to twist our right leg forward. We're going to flow into a warrior two, dropping that body down here. We are in that warrior two, feeling this strength, feeling our bodies, just feeling strong, lengthening and working the lower parts of our bodies here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into reverse warrior, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. 
two breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. We're gonna straighten out that front leg. We're gonna flow into a triangle. Feel free to use your yoga block if that feels good for you. <sighs> Still in this nice deep stretch here in this triangle. Left hand is up towards the heavens. Right hand is down towards your ankle or on a yoga block. We can gaze up at the heavens or gaze forward, whatever you feel comfortable. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that warrior two. Bending that front knee. Breathing to warrior one. Three breaths. Exhale, warrior two. Straightening out that leg, twisting our feet forward, coming back to that complete wide legged forward fold. Feeling that body relax, connecting the right hand to right ankle, left hand to left ankle, head melts down. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana, wide legged. We're gonna bend that, we're gonna twist that left foot forward. We're gonna flow into a warrior two. Opposite side, feeling that body get nice and strong here. We are working the lower parts of our bodies as well as balancing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and reverse warrior, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. Two more breaths. Straightening out that left leg, we're gonna flow into a triangle, using that yoga block if that feels good. Left arm is down towards the ankle with feet. Right arm is up in the air. Triangle pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. Bending that front knee. Breathe, warrior one. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, flow into warrior two. Twisting forward, coming back to that wide legged forward fold. Connecting the hands to the earth. Head relaxes down. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together. We are back in our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause. We're gonna come on down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We are on our forearms, head is dangling, gazing to the back of the room. Dolphin, five breaths. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose. Wider than the legs, allowing the torso to relax between the thighs. Hands are extended in front of us, making this an extended wide-legged child's pose. Third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. 
exhale. Allowing that torso to relax forward into the earth. Allowing that body to completely relax and soothe here. Five breaths, natural, silent meditation. Breathing our palms together, flowing into a prayer hand, child's pose. Three more breaths. Extending our palms back in front of us, palms flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Using our palms to push our torso forward, feeling that wave. Using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling the rhythm and the wave within the hips, within our spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at center, we're gonna come back to our table, knees are hip distance apart, dropping our bodies down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Hanging out here for a couple more breaths, building strength in our arms. Exhale forward to high plank. Tummies are tight. Breathe back, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe our right hand to our right foot, we are in that runner's lunge. Hanging out in this pose just for a couple of breaths. Gaze forward, feeling like we're ready to take off here in our runner's lunge. <sighs> Dropping that left knee down, we are now in that low lunge. We can lift our torso away from our thigh if we choose, breathing our arms above our heads, coming into that crescent lunge, palms together, chin is up, heart chakra. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that right foot. Taking that knee off the earth, we are back in a runner's lunge. Straightening out that front leg, flowing into a pyramid, feeling that stretch, that stretch. Torso relaxes over that right thigh, head melts downward towards that knee. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Three more breaths. Breathe, bending that front knee, run this lunge. <sighs> Exhale into down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm -hmm. Pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Mm -hmm. Finding pause, we're gonna breathe our left foot to our left hand, run this lunge, opposite side. Feeling our bodies, feeling nice and strong here, like we're ready to run off and take, take flight to where we wanna go, to where we wanna be, run this lunge. Dropping that right knee, we are now in our low lunge. We can keep our torso next to our thigh or we can lift our bodies away from our thigh, breathing our arms up in the air, coming into that crescent lunge, palms together, heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot, taking that knee off the earth, runner's lunge. Straightening out that front knee, pyramid opposite side. 
feeling that stretch behind the hamstrings, behind the legs. Torso's melted over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Breathe in. Exhale. Soothing here for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, bending that front knee back to run this lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax down. Three more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. Slightly gazing forward. As we flow into our, into our Tadasana, our mountain pose, standing tall, palms are at our side. Maybe we can pedal our feet left and right, noticing how that feels. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Finding pause here in our Tadasana with our palms at our side. Breathing our palms above our heads and that standing salute, palms are together. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, standing prayer, relaxing our palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gazing our eyes downward at the earth. We're closing our eyes. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we stand here in our standing prayer, may we always be grounded, may we always be rooted. May we always be humble in where we are in our lives. And at any time, if we find that we get big headed and that's okay, may we ground ourselves, coming back to our truth and who we are. Humbleness is a beautiful thing. So as we extend in our mountain poles, our head is in the heavens as we are extending to new places in our lives. May we always keep in mind who we are. May we always stay grounded no matter how high we go in life. As we relax here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Hinge it at the hips, coming into that calf forward fold, keeping our palms at heart center, slightly gazing forward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose. We are in our chair pose, prayer hands. We can extend our palms in front of us if we want, coming into an extended chair. Whatever you choose, four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Twisting our bodies to our right chair pose, twist. Three breaths. Exhale to center. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. Exhale into center, two breaths. Breathe, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch. Allowing this forward fold to relax and soothe our legs. Head melts down, breathe in. Exhale. Four breaths. Two breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs towards the back, down dog. Drop it down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, 
Buttocks is high in the air. Gaze into the back of the room. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into a puppy pose this time. Thighs are together, slightly together, but axis high in the air, torso comes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We are in our extended puppy pose. Five breaths. With our palms extended in front of us, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. We're gonna do three spinal waves. Finding our paws at our tabletop pose. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position just for a second. We're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, bringing our knees into our chest, knee to chest pose, hugging our knees into our chest. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing the knees to flow towards the left. We are in our recline spinal twist. Right arm goes out to the side like a T. Maybe we gaze over our right arm. Maybe we gaze up at the heavens. Whatever feels good for you. We can also do a recline hand to toe, connecting our hand to our toe, extending that leg if that feels good. Whatever you choose, we are in our recline, twist, five natural breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Taking this time to thank ourselves, showing ourselves a little self-love. Squeezing our legs into our chest, our heart chakra. Exhale, recline spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall to the right, feeling that spinal twist. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. Gazing over that left arm or gazing up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. We also can do an extended hand to toe, bringing our hand to our toe, extending that top leg. Whatever feels good for you, we're going to relax and soothe and now recline spinal twist, five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Plantar flexing our feet upwards towards the heavens. That means pointing our feet upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Reaching down, connecting our hands to the backs of our, our legs, 
We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two more breaths. Exhaling the legs up in the air. Breathing our knees into our chest, connecting our feet to the earth with our knees in the air. We're gonna work on a bridge pose here. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Using our feet and our palms to lift our buttocks off the earth. Feeling that gluteus maximus burn here. Lifting that gluteus maximus. We are in our bridge. We can go deeper in our bridge by interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Our torso comes higher in the air as well as our hip flexors here. We are in our pelvic tilt. We are in our bridge pose. And we can pulse those hips up and down, noticing how that squeezes and lifts the gluteus maximus. So we are working on our buns of steel here. Feeling that nice, tight buns of steel. Squeeze, squeeze. Pulsing the body up. We're holding still. Coming into a nice deep squeeze. The goal is to round and lift that gluteus maximus. We're also working on your hip flexors here. Pelvic tilt. Tilting the pelvic forward. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeezing that gluteus maximus up nice and high and squeezing it tightly. Feeling that burn. Squeeze, squeeze, buns of steel. Bonus points here, three more breaths. Two breaths. Uninterlacing those hands, untucking those shoulders, coming down, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. Feel in the body, relax here. Lifting the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing the legs towards the torso, buttocks comes off the earth. And exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Tummies are nice and tight here. We're gonna work on a tummy crunch. We're gonna lift our bodies up, coming into a boat pose. But as we lift, we're gonna hold that pose. Lifting that body up and feeling that core muscles working here. Feeling that squeeze as we flow into our boat pose. Legs can be straight. We can cross the feet at the ankles or we can straighten our legs out. Whatever we choose, boat pose, seven breaths. Gazing forward, tummies are tight. Five more breaths. Three breaths, still in a burn. We got this. Two breaths. Exhaling our hands in. We're gonna pound our hands from side to side. Now working our obliques. Seven breaths. Keeping that tummy tight, spinal cords long. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Finding pause, keeping our legs up off the earth. We're gonna connect our hands to our feet. Straightening out that back. Nice, long gait is fine here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Our feet are in our hands. As we extend that left leg up and out towards the side, we are in our boat pose variation. 
Feeling that stretch, allow that leg to flow towards the side. Gaze forward, our chin is up, tummies are tight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg in. Extending the opposite leg, right leg out towards the side. Allow it coming outward towards that side, feeling that stretch. We are gaze forward with our chin up. Tummies are tight, spinal cords are long. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that leg inward. We're gonna come into a bound position. Feet are bounded together. Coming into a diamond or butterfly. Slightly hinging at the hips. Torso comes towards the feet. Head relaxes downward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our diamond or our butterfly. We're gonna come on back. Bringing our feet back into our hands because we almost forgot to do our full boat pose variation. We're going to straighten out our left leg towards the side for the next stretch. And we're going to straighten out our right side towards the side for the next stretch. Now we are in our full boat pose variation. Our tummies are tight, our spinal cords are nice, are nice and elongated here. We can feel that stretch by extending our legs outward towards the side, coming into a wide legged V if that feels good. Or we can bring our legs inward, closing off that V. Noticing that when we close the legs, we can feel it in the different parts of our abdominals. So whatever feels good for you, wide-legged or legs closer together, whatever you choose, five breaths. Chin is up, tummy's tight, spinal cords long. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs and we're coming back to that diamond or that butterfly bound position here. Letting <sighs> our feet, our heart chakras open, our chin is up, head relaxes between our shoulder blades. We're going to flow into that cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our bound position, using our hands to bring our legs inward. We're gonna cross our feet, coming onto our hands and our knees just for a second. We're gonna float onto our tummies. We're gonna come into a Spanx pose, relaxing down here on our tummies, ensuring that our shoulders are away from the ears, meaning we are not sunken down, having control of our body. Chin is up. Eyes are gaze down and closed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. We're gonna hang out here, silent meditation, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra. Palms are next to our torso. Elbows bent, pushing our torso away from the earth, baby cobra. Chin is up. Exhaling up to a cobra, straightening out those elbows. Chin up. Exhaling to up dog, thighs are off the earth. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Three-legged dog, right side, lifting that right leg in the air nice and high, feeling that stretch, gazing back at that foot. Breathe in. 
Exhale, we're gonna cross that front foot in front of our bodies, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. So bringing that front foot across the body in the front. Left leg goes towards the back, we are in that pigeon pose. Heart chakras open, using our thighs to push our torsos away from the earth. Chin is up. Feeling this in our lumbar lower back as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Gaze over our left shoulder. Taking our left hand, connecting our left hand to our left thigh, just tapping it, seeing how that feels. If all feels well, maybe we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid, connecting our feet to our hand or our feet, cuffing it inside of our elbow. King pigeon or mermaid. Heart chakras open, chin is up, four breaths. Using a strap if you choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg down, twisting the body forward. We're gonna come on down to a sleeping pigeon, allowing the torso to relax downward towards the leg. Allowing the head to relax down as we soothe here, sleeping pigeon, four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly awakening the body out of that sleeping pigeon, using the palms to push the torso away from the thigh. Chin is up, heart chakra is opened. Exhaling down dog, coming out of that pigeon, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause. Coming into a three-legged dog left side. Breathing that left leg in the air nice and high. Gazing at that foot. Breathe in. Exhale, pigeon pose. Crossing that left foot in front of the body. Right foot is towards the back. <sighs> Feeling that body. Relax and soothe here in our pigeon. Palms are keeping our torso away from the earth. Slightly gazing over our left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Coming back to center, gazing over that right shoulder. If all feels well, connecting this right hand to that right thigh, just tapping it, seeing how that feels. If this feels good in the body, we can flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid, connecting that hand to that foot or cuffing that foot inside of your elbow. King pigeon or mermaid. Keeping in mind in our mermaid, our bodies are slightly off towards the side and that foot is cuffed in the elbow. We can also use a strap for either pose. <sighs> king pigeon, mermaid, four more breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. Exhaling, relaxing that thigh, that leg back down. Gazing forward. Gazing over that left shoulder. Coming back to center as we flow down to our sleeping pigeon. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee. Gazing the eyes down or closed. Shoulders melts forward. Four breaths. Two breaths. Slowly awakening, using our hands to push our torsos away from the earth. Heart chakras opened, chin is up. Breathe in. 
exhale, down dog, uncrossing that foot, bringing the legs towards the back, gazing back at our feet as we are walking our dog. Pedal on our feet, left and right. Hmm. Exhaling forward to a high plank. Two more breaths. Coming down to a low plank with Chaturanga. Exhale onto our tummies. We're gonna come into a sleep pose. Crossing both our hands, our arms in front of us, palms are on top of each other, stacked. Our chin, our cheeks, or our forehead relaxes on our palms. Shoulder blades melt forward. Breathe in. Exhale. We are in our rest pose on our tummies. Taking a moment here to simply just go inward. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, at this present moment. Being aware of what is going on within, without judgment, simply noticing. And then we use the next 10 natural breaths to simply just relax and go inward. Feeling what we feel, knowing what we know, and making sense out of what needs to be made sense out of. And what all we do, what all we may discover without judgment. 10 natural breaths of silence. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleep pose, we're gonna flow into our Sphinx pose, coming up on our forearms. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up on our hands and our knees, coming into a table. Tummy's tight, knees are hip distance apart, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice. I'm gonna come into a cow face legs. <sighs> Tummies are tight. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulders relax down and away from the ears. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, if that feels good for you. 
gazing downward at the earth or closing the eyes. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.